Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome once again to another episode on the Life Signatures podcast. This is a virtual incubator for purpose, productivity, and resilience. It's a daily show. Every single day, we have something to say about those three topics of purpose, productivity, or resilience and in between there there are many other related cousins of these topics uh, things like potential which of course we are talking about things like planning things like time management and all that stuff as long as it's about purpose it's about productivity and it's about resilience and we started two episodes back we started talking about potential and the reason as to why I want us to do this is to help us to identify some of the ways we can know uh, we can tell that I am living way below my privileges and I am not necessarily deploying the potential that is within me that's what i want us to discuss in these episodes so i want you to stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So how can you know that you are not deploying your potential? How can you tell that you're not fulfilling that particular potential that is inside of you? You have been told, and it's true, that there is potential inside of you. And if you've not been told, then I'm telling you. Listen, there is no human being who has been born, who, who is alive, who doesn't have potential. It's a principle. It's a life principle. Life is filled with potential. One of the most interesting things about life, and especially potential, is that it cuts across the strata of living things and unliving things. They have potential, both of them. And the person with the most potential and the person that is most responsible for their potential is a living person, the living thing. And more so the human being, the species of the human being, because we're the crown of creation. So you and I have potential inside of us. Edison said if we did everything that we can do, we'll literally astound ourselves. If we did everything that we are capable of doing, there are some things I am capable of doing. There are some things you are capable of doing. The question we need to grapple ourselves with is, are we doing those things that are within our capabilities? Forget about the things that we need to go out there and arm ourselves up. But the things that are within the capabilities of our potential, are we doing them? You could be able to issue a life-altering speech. You could be a spoken word artist. You could be uh, a, a best-selling author. Potential is there. And I'm not being motivational when I'm saying these things. This is factual. There is no human being who doesn't have potential. It is factual. All of us have been born with potential. The principle in life, one of the biggest principles in life, is the principle of seeds. Life seldom gives you fruits from the get-go. Life honors process life in order to honor process will honor the principle of seeds seeds are the ones that are there and every seed if i put a seed 
a mango seed miles moro normally uses that analogy a lot if i put a mango seed in my pocket i am not just potentially carrying around a mango seed i am potentially carrying around a forest that's what it is and it's not just a forest i'm potentially ladies and gentlemen carrying around millions of dollars in my pocket in that seed that's the potential that is available in the mango seed so how would you know that you have potential and you're not deploying it let's look at reason number 1 today and uh, we'll call it day number 1 you will know that you are not fulfilling your potential if you are not living on purpose oh boy this i can come here for a month and i will not even finish this topic you see one of the most sinister things about purpose and potential is that it is possible for all of us to live not on purpose to live outside of purpose it is possible for us not to fulfill our potential but live for 90 years 120 years 100 years as in live our whole spectrum of our lives until we are old and cannot live anymore we outlive our usefulness but we've lived outside of purpose and we have not fulfilled our potential it is possible not only is it possible but it happens daily i tell ya look for a 70 year old man or woman today ask them a question what's your purpose they have lived their lives so to speak full lives but if you start questioning them about purpose and so on and so forth they will, some of them will look at you like what what are you talking about in other words they've just lived their lives ordinarily averagely as in the life of going to school finishing school looking for a job getting a job and starting to pay bills and looking for a way of building your own permanent house and you build it at 60 you live live on it and your kids and pass on the baton to your kids to continue the same thing at 70 there is nothing to write home about your life of purpose and if you look at the regrets that many people have in the twilight of their times in the twilight of their years it is one of the things is that they never used their potential that is the biggest regret and the reason as to why you don't use your potential is because you're not living on purpose we are chasing the bag the bag of money pushing the dollars we get employed and we are focused on activities and job descriptions and tasks and projects and we check them out to live our lives in 30 days incremental periods before we know it we were saying that we are 30 years old someone said you're not 30 years old you're one year old repeatedly with 29 years experience which means nothing really changed so one of the ways uh, let me just state this clearly If you wanted to know that you're not deploying your potential look at answering this question are you living on purpose if you're not living on purpose chances are that you are not deploying your full god-given potential you are uh, kind of hazy with it you might deploy it in not such a full way in life but as long as you are not living on purpose you are not fulfilling your god given potential i can tell you that as much as you can take it to the bank see purpose and potential are connected to the hip they are connected to the hip you know why because let me ta- let me explain to you if i'm creating a microphone I'll put inside the microphone the capacity or the potential to act like a microphone or to function like a microphone. If I'm creating a table, 
I'll put on the table or in the table, I'll put in it the potential, the capacity to function like a table. If I'm creating a laptop, I'll put inside of the laptop the capacity to function like a laptop. The same thing with a human being. If I want a human being to be an inspiration to this world, I'll put inside of that human being the capacity to function as an inspiration. The same thing goes as an architect. The same thing goes as a, as a pilot. The same thing goes as whatever it is that there is capacity. Each capacity inside of you tells you what your purpose is, is supposed to be. So I cannot give you the purpose of speaking I mean, of inspiring people if you do not have the gift, the talent, the capacity, the potential of doing the same, of functioning that way. Those two are connected together. Your gift tells you what your purpose is. So if you are not living your purpose, then your gift is not being used. It's dormant. It's potential. It's unused, untapped future energy. You don't need future energy anymore. You need to deploy it now. One tells out the other. You see someone who is gifted in some way, you can easily relate what their purpose is. One is the front end and the other is the back end. See, potential is the hidden capacity, the capacity to function, the hidden capacity and the force that enables you to activate that purpose of yours. And purpose is what matters to you. The reason for your existence. Why you were born in the first place. Why you've been sustained all these years in the first place. If there was a reason for your existence, then there has to be the capacity to carry out that particular reason. That capacity is your potential. Gifts and talents. That capacity is the potential that God has given you. It therefore goes without saying that if you find yourself living outside of your purpose in life, you might very well not be exploiting that capacity, that potential, that possibility, that power, that energy that is inside of you that is supposed to be deployed, supposed to be, supposed to be utilized. Uh, my, my story, I've told you my story. I knew I had the potential to write at the age of 11 or 10, 12, or thereabouts. But what did we do? It was possible for us, or to, it was uh, expedient for us, to, for me to go to school. Not to go to school to, to learn how to write, no. To go to school to do as many things as possible. Biology, physics, chemistry, agriculture, Christian religious education, history, geography. And all these things crowded out the potential to write, the gift to write. And I put it on the back burner for decades on end. I started writing at 30 plus. Yet I knew the capacity, the potential to you. I was living outside of my purpose. We can do without, but we shouldn't. Yeah. We can do without our purpose, but we shouldn't. That's the most sinister thing about potential and purpose. You can actually live without it. All this potential will be doing is lying dormant, lying unused, lying unattended to, if you're not living on your purpose. And of course, you can still do many other things, like I've said, many other things outside of your purpose, and you can still make money. Those of you who are interested in making money, you will still make money. It's possible actually to make crazy money, so to speak, without following your purpose. But that's not the reason as to why you were born. You can own things, you can travel the world, you can have vacations, you can make money, but it is possible that in so doing, you still might not be fulfilled because your purpose and your potential are what bring fulfillment. These things that we are chasing after the wind is when we are trying to chase things that will bring us gratification and temporary fulfillment, but they are not connected to our purpose. They are not connected to our potential. So it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy that it's possible for us to live outside of purpose and potential and still make money and still earn a living, but there's no fulfillment. 
That's why you see people who are quote unquote successful having mental breakdowns and so on. Therefore, if you wanted to exploit your potential as I come to a close, if you wanted to exploit your potential, start gravitating towards your life purpose. You can never go wrong with this. Tomorrow, we're going to look at another way, another reason, or another yardstick you can use to measure to know if you are on purpose or if you are deploying your potential or not. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.